Yo, what is up guys, my name is Joe Thomas and welcome back to The Haunted Fair. Now this is episode 3 and uh, last episode, just watch it right here man. I don't need to explain myself but I will give a recap. Let's go ahead and load our save. So in the previous episode, um, we we just lost someone, okay? We just heard about this fall, spooky thingy, ghosting going around. I don't need to explain myself, just watch it up there anyways. Maybe we should head back into in and look for her. This is not good, this is not good. This has to be the cause for the fair. Very. The ghost must have gotten her. Suddenly my phone vibrates again. Another text message. Sarah contacted me. She's fine. She spent the day with her new boyfriend. See you on Monday. Right. I freaking knew it. Um, I knew, I, I look at, I, oh, come on, I can't read. Look at the still worried very next to me. Sasha just con uh, contacted me, Sha Sarah is okay. I don't think she even was near the fair today. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. She's not even a victim of the curse, but what about thee? Suddenly the cold breeze appears. I feel a slight touch of uh, on my left shoulder. Not again, huh? I shiver and turn around. Nothing. What? Who was this? Eerie voice? Your friend is in danger. Look behind the mirror. Whoa, what was that? Did you say something, Kim? No. You sure? Yeah. We have to look after D quickly. I have this feeling something is a mess. Yes, it can be good f if she stays alone in there for so long. Let's head back. The fur is going to drive me crazy. I don't care about the whole curse thing anymore, but I just my friends to be safe. I force myself to not think about it any further and we head back inside. That manner, I'm not gonna say that. Ahem, what are you looking for? Have you seen something inside here that would be described as a blind mirror? Oof, I don't know. Maybe a cloudly mirror? Good, let's look for it. That I've been waiting for an hour. Yeah, an, a whole hour. My voice is all like I need to swallow every single time. I'm pre recording this videos, man. I'm on that grind. Okay, I still don't get why you're looking for one, but I need help. But I'll help. My pace is slowing down, as you, you can see. This is where D might be at. One like this. Very points at the mirrors on the wall that has lost its reflectiveness. A few cracks run along the cow cloudy surf. Uh, yes, that looks like suspicious. But I'm trying to give it a push. Maybe it's a hidden door or something. Mary puts the, his shoulder against the mirror and presses and presses against it. With a grating sound, the mirror gives in. The hidden door swings open, giving sight to a small cramped storage room. Boxes supply or for the small for the stalls are stacked on top of each other plastic trinkles, shuffle animals, toy guns, walls of can knock down between them a small desk and a chair in front of it. On which D is tied up with duct tape covering her mouth. Her eyes gaze over to us. What in the D we rush over, uh, freeing her as quick as we can. Crap. Thanks, guys. What happened to you? I'll tell you later. We should get out of here before they get back. Hey, you don't want to know. Dot, dot, dot. Just one moment. He looks behind her, then shoves some things under her shirt and in her pockets. Is she trying to steal? I decide not to say anything. Alright, I'm ready to leave. This way. I showed you the way out of a maze. Right. Man, I thought you would have never come to rescue me. Don't judge us. Barry and I tried our best to find you. Yes, we did. We reached the last turn almost at the exit. Shoot. We come to the halt as two large shadows suddenly block our way out. 
two adult men stand in front of us. There they are. Ah! Why am I screaming? <laughs> Anyways. The thoughts are racing in my brain. What should we do? Should we run? Should we run before I sort my thoughts? My uh, Before I sort my thoughts, any further, D makes a quick movement. She pulls something out of her pocket and throws it really hard. It's a ball of the storage room. One of the men whimpers of pain and the other, other, the other one ducks away. Another bullseye for me. Now quick, to shove the man that got hit away from us. Then all of us run away from the other one as quick as we can. We turn at the corner between the stalls and as the voices behind us if we had voices behind shout at us, we quickly be hide behind some of the trash cans. Call the police came. I have no more mutation. If they try to get us. Frankly, I, I, I type in the number of the emergency hotline on my phone. The others say, the others stay as quiet as possible while they wait for me to finish the call. In the distance, I can hear one of the men cursing and punching on a stack of boxes looking for us. Okay, they told me they will be here in a few. Let's move then. We, can, we can't stay here or else those guys might find us before the cops are here. Quietly, we stand up and sneak around the corner. Harry takes a peek behind one of the other stalls. If we go back to the crowd, they might not follow us. What idea, Barry? We successfully managed to hide among the other fair visitors. Alright, by the way, Dean. Hmm. Why did they try to, I don't know, kidnap you? My my bad. Um, there was some evidence against them in the storage room I snuck into. Evidence, yeah. You see, the whole thing with the missing people last year made me suspicious. So before we met, I here before we met, we met here. I heard I search I can't read, man. Nothing against you, Barry, but you didn't remember all the details about the newspaper articles. Apparently, four years ago, two people went missing in October related to the money laundering. But I thought they might have been connected with a company that runs the firm, but it could never be proven. And the evidence you found. Don't you think they will destroy that now that we've run away? Now, come on, man. How native do you think I am? He pulls some papers from under a shirt. Oh, this looks like some forged ledger. We should show this to the police later. Yep. But when will will happen to the fair then? I hope it will be fine. Just as Barry said, we will hear sirens are pushing the fair. Hold on. Tuesday, 11.24 a.m. All three of us sit at the police station for the interview. Apparently, two criminals are on the run again. When the police arrive at the hideout, we are already, uh, we are already totally ransacked. And the fair got closed for the rest of the season while the police investigate everyone working there. It looks like the owner of the fair might not be involved in the money laundering at all. But the rumors spread fast. I hope the, I hope the fair will be back again next year. I can't wait to go there again with you two haunting ghosts and curses. But I thought, is something wrong, Kim? No hard feelings, but I think I've had enough ghost stories for a lifetime. Wild horses couldn't drag me back to the cursed place. I'm just glad all of us got out of their life. I still shiver thinking about that ghostly voice I've heard at the house of mirrors but who but who knows that but who knows what would have happened to d if i didn't if i hadn't listened to it overall i think we've been really lucky on this day thinking about it the whole situation could have ended up quite differently
Yo, we got the good ending, yo. Yo, I'm surprised. Like, I was looking at this game, this game's description. There was three endings. I think there was, I don't know, but we got the good ending, yo. That's, that, 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 that's it. Yo. <laughs> Clap it up. That's another game bodied. Another game completed on our channel. Let's just end up this video. But anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this visual novel called Dogs Barking Outside. The Hunted Fair. And uh, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, go check out my other games on the channel. I have, like, I literally record any game that is free. That is... I just, just check out my channel, man. Just see which video you want to watch and just watch it. Tell my channel with your friends and family. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.